So in this tutorial we're going to look at what you do when you need to divide numbers and you don't have a calculator. Uh, and there are three basic methods that I'm going to show you. Um, one of them is called short division uh, as opposed to long division which you don't want to touch with a barge pole. So short division and that's really useful if the divisor, that's the thing you're dividing by, has only one digit. So uh, question 1a there, we're dividing by 7, so that might be good. Factoring and cancelling, uh, I'll show you about that, but this is good. Look, we can already see in part b uh, there are some factors of 10 we can knock off. And then the old repeated addition, except I'm going to call it intelligent repeated addition. And essentially what we're doing is multiplying until we get to where we want to be couple of other things to remember. If you want to divide by 10, just move the decimal point left one or knock off a zero. That's uh, something you should know. And if you're asked to divide by a multiple of 2, so 2, 4, 8, 16 or 32 for example, just keep halving the number until you get to where you need to be. So for example, dividing by 32, you'd halve it five times. Uh, we're not going to do one of those, but that's quite easy. Right, let's do these three sums on the right here. Uh, so 1,526 divided by 7. Well, I'm going to do this by the short division method, okay, and where we write uh, 7 like this, and then the number in here, 1,526. And I hope you remember how to do this. 7 goes into 1. Well, actually it doesn't, so we won't do that. But 7 does then go into 15. And 7 goes into 15 twice. So we write a 2 at the top. Now what are two sevens? Uh, are 14, so it goes into 15 twice with a 1 left over. And we write the 1 as a sort of a carried number here. And then we say, how many times does 7 go into? Well, that now says 12. And 7 goes into 12, obviously once and with five left over and so we put the five next to the six there and we say how many times does seven go into 56 well if you know your times tables and this bizarrely was the one i used to struggle with seven eighths of 56 and so it goes in there exactly and something i didn't read out from the blue box on non-calculator on non-calculated papers division is likely to have an exact answer. Um, so it doesn't always, but it does in this case. So 1526 divided by 7 is 218. Now what do I mean by factoring and cancelling? Well let's treat this as a fraction. So I've got 3780 over or divided by 180. And the first thing, as I've already said, I can see that I have um, a factor of 10. So I can actually just knock off the zero on the end. And I've got 378 over 18. Now, I'm going to factor the bottom. Uh, and it's fairly clear that 18 is 3 times 6. And I'm hoping 3 will go into 378. So 3 times what is 378? Well, I'm sort of doing a little bit of short division in my head. 3 into 3 goes 1, 3 into 7 goes 2 with 1 left over, and so that gives me an 18. 3 into 18 goes 6 times. And I can then cancel the 3s. Remember you can cancel factors top and bottom. And then the only thing I can do uh, to the bottom of this fraction is write it as 2 times 3, because that's 6, and so I've got 2 times well, if I halve 126, that is, of course, 63. Half of 12 is 6. Half of 6 is 3. And look, I can cancel the 2s. And I'm left with 63 over 3. And I can write the top as 3 times 21. And cancel the 3s, and I get left with 21. And so 3,780 divided by 180 is 21. Now what about this last one? Um, the more observant of you will have spotted that I can't use the factoring and cancelling method because 23 is in fact a prime number. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, 644 divided by 23 is something. And another way of writing that is that something times 23 is 644. Okay, and all I need to do is look at the multiples of 23 until I get to the right place. So I'm going to do that down here on the right. And we're going to use a sort of an intelligent form of repeated addition. In that I'm not just going to do 23s, I'm going to uh, do intelligent things. So 123 is obviously 23. Um, I am actually need to get a lot bigger than that, so I'm going to multiply by 10. So 10 23s are 230. Okay, so that's getting up somewhere where we need to be. If I double that, I get 20 23s, and that's 460. And we're sort of playing a game here as to where we can um, get close to the number. So I'm going to try 30 23s, which actually is just, of course, if I want 30, I just add 10 and 20. So to get 30 23s, I just add 230 and 460. Okay, so I can just add those two together, which gives me 690. And now I'm sort of in the right region. Okay, and if I just go down a bit, 29 23s, well, I'm going to subtract 23 here to get, well, if I subtract 20, I get 670. Subtract another 3, I get 667. And if I subtract another 23, I get 600 and 44, which is what I want. Okay, and so there is what I'm asked for, and I can say that 644 divided by 23 is equal to 28, and I am done. Okay, so one of these methods, or a mixture of these methods, should get you the right answer.